Hello and welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up MySQL Server and PHP My Admin on Ubuntu hosted on Azure. So, click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing of Azure from where you can install the MySQL Server. From here, you want to create a new virtual machine. So for that, simply click on Get it now and then click on Continue. After that, you will be taken to this page from where you need to click on Create. And then you would be brought to this screen where you can customize your virtual machine. So from this page, choose the subscription that you have, choose the resource group, either create a new one or choose an already existing one and then give your virtual machine a name. So I'm going to call it MySQL install and then choose the region where you want your virtual machine to be deployed. After that, scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box and then choose the size that is according to your requirements. If you scroll down, you can see that there is a, this authentication type. You can choose the SSH public key to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine or you can go with the password protected authentication. For this tutorial, I am going to go with the SSH public key and then give a username to your virtual machine. After that, simply click on review plus create and then a validation process would execute and after the validation, you can simply click on this create right over here. And this time around, it is going to prompt you to download the private key and create resource. So download the private key in a secure folder because this is the private key that you would be using to connect to the SSS terminal of your virtual machine. And then you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. After the deployment is complete, we need to connect to the SSS terminal. So simply click on go to resource and then from here click on connect and choose SSH. Here you're going to see this command which is used to connect to the SSH terminal. Copy this command, either open up a new command prompt or a PowerShell and then simply paste in this command and just replace the private key path for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the path, simply hit enter and when prompted, type in yes and hit enter once more. After that, you would be connected to the SSH terminal of your newly created virtual machine. Now, the very first thing that you want to do inside the SSH terminal is that you want to configure MySQL. So for that, type in the command sudo space mysql underscore secure underscore installation and hit enter and then it is going to ask you to use a password so type in yes and type in a new password after typing in the password simply type yes for every prompt that shows up once you're done you want to create a new account or a new user for mysql so for that you can head on over to the blog post that contains all of the commands that are required for this tutorial from the link in the description box and from here, what you're going to do is that you're going to copy these set of commands and what you're going to do is that you're going to replace this field which is the password field for the password that you want to use. You can even change the username from root to anything what you like. So copy these commands and paste them in the SSH terminal and then hit enter. Now you have configured your MySQL. Now the last thing that is left to do is to open up PHP MyAdmin and use this newly created account to log into PHP my admin. So for that simply head back to portal.azure and from here click on overview and copy this public IP address, paste it inside a new tab followed up by a forward slash followed up by PHP my admin. In here for the username you can give the username root which we have just created and the password that you have given it. After that simply hit on go and then you would be able to log in to PHP my admin. So now you have successfully set up MySQL and you can use PHP MyAdmin to manage all the databases on your Ubuntu hosted on Azure. So that brings us to the end of this video. So if you have any queries regarding this video, make sure to leave them in the comment section. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And lastly, make sure to check out the description box for the marketplace listing and for the step-by-step -step blog post guide.